What is going on everyone? My name is the California Cougar and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red Team Venusaur Edition. Last time we got our 8th and final badge, the Earth Badge, we defeated Giovanni. And then we made our way over to Route 22 and defeated our rival. And now we are ready for the Pokemon League. So let's get right into it. Alright, so yes, this guy asks for the boulder badge. There's several checkpoints like this. The first one is the boulder badge. And now here we are. Only if you have the cascade badge, which we have. That's the badge you get for beating Misty. Alright. Now, only if you have the thunder badge. There's the thunder badge. Obviously, Lieutenant Surge. Okay, I think there's a berry here somewhere. Yes, there it is. Alright. Yeah, there's a few items on this route that we'll have to grab, and they're all hidden too. Alright, next, the Rainbow Badge. Alright, now we have to surf. Alright, only if you have the Soul Badge. I don't know why Koga's badge is called the Soul Badge. You know what I mean? Oh my god, there are wild Pokemon here. Okay, well... <laughs> the Psyduck. Oh well. <laughs> so, I guess we'll just use a Repel here. I hope I have enough Repels. I should. We'll just use one to get through here, and then... Yeah. Now if you come up here... There we go. There's the item. I knew there was a hidden item on this island. Alright. Only if you have the Marsh Badge. Yep, that's Sabrina's badge. Yeah, Erica's badge is the Rainbow Badge. Not really sure why. Anyway, come up here. Grab an Ultra Ball. Yeah, of course there's wild Pokemon here. I should know that. Now we're going to grab the a spear berry, however you pronounce it. Alright, whoops, did not need to do that. And, come over here, this is the volcano badge. Makes sense for Blaine. Alright, now I believe up here, there's a full restore. Why am I not on the bike? Alright, and of course, there's the earth badge. And then we grab a citrus berry here. And now, we make our way into Victory Road. So yeah, it's basically a long cave. You do need strength to navigate through it. Yeah, it's a pretty long cave. A lot of trainers to fight, a lot of items to grab. I think there's three levels total. And by levels, I mean like three floors. Alright. So I'm going to get Bulbapedia open here real quick. There we go. Yeah, and they're all cool trainers as well. So they're going to have the annoying full restores or hyper potions, whatever they use. So, yeah. Navigating this cave isn't too bad. You just need strength, really, to get through it. It's not like Hoenn's Victory Road, where you need, like, Strength, Flash, Rock Smash, a bunch of other crappy HMs to get through. Yeah, you even need Surf to get through that one. Or, like, Sinnoh's Victory Road. That one's even worse, I think, if I remember right. Because you need, like, five HMs, and a lot of which are very bad, crappy HMs. Alright, so we move the Strength Boulder onto that button there. And now, we come up here. Who's up front? Okay, I think I'm going to switch over to Simon here. Alright, give him the amulet coin. And there's our first trainer. Yeah, I knew she was up there. Alright, so she's going to lead off with Persian, this is the evolved form of Meowth. So we'll just go ahead and use Brick Break on him. 
Ooh, I am faster. Nice. Persian's usually very speedy, so I'm surprised that I sped him there. But yeah. Alright, Ponyta. We're gonna keep him in. And we'll go ahead and use Rock Slide this time. Because it's super effective. Alright, Vulpix. We'll go ahead and switch here. We'll switch. I guess we'll switch to Finn. Yeah, Finn's almost at level 47, so. We're getting close. Go ahead and just use Thunder Punch. Oh my god, he lived. And he has Flamethrower. Wonderful. So, uh, doesn't do that much damage. We'll just finish him with Shockwave. I forgot about the. Hi I was just mentioning Hyper Potions. Wow, I'm stupid. My brain doesn't work. Alright. That's okay, we'll just use it again. Alright, sending out Rapidash, we'll go ahead and send Simon back out there. And we'll just use Earthquake. So yes, there's Earthquake. Very powerful. Nine Tails. We'll keep him out. We'll just use Earthquake again. I do have to be careful with how many times I use it, though. I only have 10 PP. And there's like 10 trainers in here. <laughs> There you go, level 47. Wow, my attack is like really good. It's like 120 something, I think. Alright, anyway. We'll go ahead and switch over to Valkyrie for this next one. Alright. First things first, we come over here. Okay, oops, wrong button. Where's the repels? There we go. Alright. I should have put the matcha brace in the PC. You don't really need it right now. Alright, I think. Yes. Okay, right here. So, yeah, unfortunately, you do have to block off an item to grab these two. But, yeah. Anyway, that's the TM for Dragon Claw. It's actually a very good TM. Unfortunately, I don't think any of my Pokemon can actually learn it. There aren't a lot of Pokemon that can learn it in this game, but it's a very good TM. It's a Dragon-type move. You don't really see a lot of Dragon-type moves in this game. Like, other than, like, Dragon Breath. Like, can anyone learn Dragon Claw? No, I didn't think so. I think Charizard can learn it, so if your starter's Charizard, it's a good move to teach him. Alright. So now we'll grab that Ultra Ball. And let's see. I did grab all the items here, right? Yeah. Okay. Rare Candy was the other one. Alright. So, I believe that is it for this floor. Oh, no. Oh, there's one more trainer. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, all the trainers in this cave have a lot of a lot of Pokemon, so you're gonna get a lot of experience here, which is good. Don't know if we're gonna get to level 50 with any of our Pokemon, but we'll be close. Ivysaur, we'll go ahead and switch switch over to Luthen. Yeah, because Finn's pretty close. Alright, so we'll just do Psychic. Oh my god, he didn't die. I thought for sure that was going to kill. We got the special defense drop, though. 
He's gonna razor leaf us. That's not a crit. I thought for sure that was a crit. Okay, he got we got the special defense drop, so this one should kill him. Hopefully, at least. Yep. I'm surprised that first one didn't kill. But we get to 47, which is good. Ooh, and we're learning Thunderbolt. Yes! Finally. So yeah, strong electrical attack that move the foe paralyzed. 95 accuracy, or 95 base power, 100 accuracy. Whereas Thunder Punch is basically the same move, but with 75 power. So, we're gonna get rid of Thunder Punch. Yeah, I like Shockwave more, because Shockwave doesn't miss. So it's always good to have a move that doesn't miss, in case anyone tries to spam double team on you. Alright, go ahead and send out... Send out Godzilla here. I'll just take him down with Razor Leaf. Now, how did that not die? Wow. I feel like I'm just getting terrible damage rolls. That should have died. Alright, Charmeleon. We're definitely not going to keep him out for that. Um... Do a sheer con. But yeah, we can take care of this guy with strength, I think. Yeah, two hits. He's gonna get scary face off on us, drop our speed. Hopefully we'll still be faster. I don't know if we will be though. Nope. He's gonna use flamethrower. Yeah, not really the best move he could go for. <clears throat> but that'll finish him off. <clears throat> anyway, up next he's got Charizard. We know how to handle Charizard, so we'll just send out Poseidon. And there we go. Let's use Surf. He's faster, that's annoying. Yeah, it's lower level than the level 53 that her rival had, so one surf is enough. And there we go. <laughs> no, you did not have a chance, buddy. You did not have a chance. Alright, let's see. Okay, so... Is Valkyrie still up front? Yes, he is. Okay. Yeah, we definitely want Valkyrie up front for the next guy. First things first, we gotta hmm, use strength here. What? I still have a rappel up. Oh my god, this guy's level 48, dude. Yeah, rappels only work when when your Pokemon is higher level than the wild Pokemon. So yeah. This is where we can run into Pokemon without our repels working. Anyway, we'll talk to this guy. Got a couple items to grab in here. Alright, we'll just go ahead and use Fly. Submission. <laughs> yeah, that's a fighting type move. It is capable of doing quite a bit of damage, actually. My chop. Just keep men and use return on this guy. But how did that not die? Oh well. At least scary face missed. And we can just kill him with steel wing here. Alright, one more Machoke. This will get us to 47. There we 
go. <clears throat> oh my god, he didn't die. Okay, submission missed again, thankfully. We'll just be stealing again. Good, it didn't miss. Alright, there we go. <laughs> Level 47. Alright, so there's a few items we can grab here. First one is this one up here. Alright, so that's the TM for Sandstorm. You can teach it to your ground type or rock type Pokemon if you want to. I'm not going to. I don't see the need to. Alright, but yeah, anyway. We'll go ahead and switch over to. Switch over to Shere Khan. Yeah, I gotta get Godzilla leveled up as well, but we can do that in a bit. So let's talk to this guy. Alright. We'll just use Bite on these guys. Now, unfortunately, they don't die super quickly. Psych up. <laughs> yeah, copy stat changes. I wonder if that was just to get intimidated off. I don't know. Because my stats haven't changed. Alright. Here's Hypno. We're going to use Strength instead, because he has weaker physical defense. There's Meditate, Rate which raises attack, physical attack, that is. <coughs> oh my god, how did that not die? He was below, the first one took him below half. Gosh, I'm getting crappy damage rolls. Alright, go ahead, keep him in here for Kadabra. Nabra's super frail, so strength should take care of him. Yep, easy. Easy. There we go, level 47. Alright, now he's got a Kadabra. We'll go ahead, we'll send out Godzilla. This is risky because he can use Psychic. But, I reckon Kadabra will be able to take him. Maybe we get... Actually, you know what? Let's use Frenzy Plant. I reckon Frenzy Plant will kill. There we go. Yeah. That's what Frenzy Plant is good for. Just doing big damage. Alright. So, let's see. Who's up front? Shere Khan. Um, let's throw... Let's throw Valkyrie up front for this next fight. Don't worry, we'll get a uh, Venusaur at 47. Alright. But, first things first. Oh my god, dude. Don't you love it when repels don't work? <sighs> we'll just talk to this guy. Alright, so he's gonna send out Persian. We're gonna counter with Valkyrie. Use Return. Oh my god, he lived with like one health. We'll just have to finish him with Steel Wing. Yeah, I guess not all the trainers in here are cool trainers. Most of them are, though. Alright, Golduck. So this is where we'll send out. Godzilla, get him to 47. I think, does Godzilla learn a move here? I totally forgot. But yeah, this guy should go down to a Razor Leaf. Oh my god, he didn't. Oh my god, he has confusion. That's gonna hurt. This is not a Psychic type, though. Like, he probably should be. That'll work.
All right. Yes, you did get whipped. All right. Grab this item. Oops. These are pals. All right. All right. So let's see. Who do I want to fight? Switch over to switch over to Simon. This is risky, but if Simon can pull it off, it'll be worth it, I think. Oh my god. Go away, Onyx. You want an Onyx on your team? Now's a good time to get one. It's at level it'll be higher level than your Pokemon. Keep in mind, I fought pretty much every single trainer I could. Alright. So this guy's got a Mr. Mime. So, yeah, it is dangerous because he can use Psychic. But, we're going to try and hit him with Megahorn. And we got him. There we go. Yeah, Bug is super effective against Psychic, so easy. Easy W. Well done, thank you, sir. Alright, now I can grab this item. It's the TM for Hail. Another weather move. Not really much use for it, but yeah. So that's it for this floor, at least for now. There is one thing we can do, though. There actually is one more thing that we do on the second floor but it requires this boulder to do it. And now you gotta push it all the way over here. And we'll just push it up against this wall here. And then we'll bring it down here. And then move it over here. And then all the way down. And there you go. Now we come up here. There's another trainer up here, so let's see. I forgot who who this trainer, like what this trainer has. Okay, that's what he has. All right. So we'll switch over to switch to Poseidon. And I don't think we're gonna get all the way through Victory Road, but we're gonna get close. You can get through here, you can go meet the Elite Four. Damn right. Alright, so we'll just use Surf. And there we go. Lapras. Alright, this is dangerous, but we gotta send out Finn here. You get to use Thunderbolt, though. So yeah, Lapras. Pretty bulky Pokemon. It's a water type, though. Water and ice type, actually. But yeah, this is Thunderbolt. Finally get to use that. And look at that, it actually killed. So there we go. Lickitung. We'll just go ahead and send Simon out. So you can use Brick Break on him. Alright. I should take care of him. Oh my god, he lived. How did he live that? Get poisoned. Yes! Kill him. Please kill him. Come on, kill him. Yes! That's right. That's what happens. That is what happens. Alright. So now we got the guard spec. And that's it for the second floor. Now you notice the boulder's missing, but that's okay, because... Yeah, the path is open now. That's the TM for Overheat. Very powerful fire-type move. If you want to teach it to one of your fire-type Pokemon, you can. Don't know if I would recommend it, though. Anyway, we're going to switch over to Shere Khan here. 
Yeah, I don't know if I would recommend Overheat over Flamethrower. Maybe over something like Fire Blast, I don't know. But if you want to teach it to a Fire Pokemon, you can. Alright, so now we got another cool trainer here. Alright, so he's got an Exeggutor. Shouldn't be a problem for Shere Khan, though. We'll see his flamethrower. There we go. Sand Slash, we'll go ahead and send out Godzilla. And we'll just use Razor Leaf. There we go. Cloister, we'll keep him out. Let's use Razor Leaf again. There we go. Arcanine, he's going to Arcanine. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and send out Simon. This guy will have Intimidate, but hopefully it's not too much of a problem for us. We can just hit him with Earthquake. Yeah, our attack's so good, it might kill him anyway. Damn it, he lived on like one health. Oh, that's going to be annoying. Yeah, I knew he was going to do that, but we'll just use Rock Slide. That'll do some damage. Didn't quite do half though, so we'll just use Earthquake again. There we go. Alright. Electrode. Um, I'm gonna keep him in here. We'll just finish him off with one more Earthquake. He is faster, that's annoying. All right, there we go. Rumors are true, damn right. All right. So there's the max revive. All right, so we're approaching the 30 minute mark here. I think we're just gonna fight this trainer and then it'll be the end of the part. All right. Let's switch. Switch to Poseidon. Alright, so fight this girl, and then we'll just end the part there. We're actually almost all the way through Victory Road, believe it or not. Yeah, I could go till I finish Victory Road, but unfortunately my iPad doesn't really have that much room. How did that not die? That's dumb, that should have died. And now she's going to use a full restore. And it used cosmic power as well, which means that Surf's not going to do as much damage because it raised, cosmic power raises both defenses. So we'll just have to use it again. There we go. Jigglypuff. We can deal with Jigglypuff. She's Surf again. Hopefully this one dies. There we go, finally. I mean, I know those guys have a lot of HP, but still. Alright, Persian. We'll just go ahead. He's thin. And we'll just use Thunderbolt. That should take care of him. How did that not die? Wow. 
die, please. God, I can't believe they're not di they're living with like one health. I'm just getting, I've just get, been getting bad damage rolls in this part. Like this whole part has been all about Pokemon living with like two HP. This better kill. The water type, you better die. Thank God. All right. Chancy. All right, so we're gonna go to Simon here. And we are gonna use Brick Break. Yeah. And just watch how slowly this health bar drops. Yeah, Chansey has HP out the ass. But she also has super weak physical defense, like some of the weakest physical defense in the game. So any physical move you use on it, there's a good chance it's going to die. So, yeah. Alright. So yeah, we're actually almost done. We only have a couple trainers left. Unfortunately, we're at 31 minutes now. So... Yeah, we're just going to stop right here for now, guys. So make sure to hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this part. And make sure to hit the subscribe channel for more parts in the future. Once again, one part per day will be coming out. And in the next part, we will finish up Victory Road. And we'll do any other pre-Elite 4 tasks that we have yet to complete. So stay tuned for that. And until that next video, once again, my name is the California Cougar. And always remember to stay California cool. Peace.